Miami Fire Rescue on standby for the next couple of days. This year, they plan to use the first ever MedCat high wind rescue vehicle. Wow, Local 10's Christina Brumer Vasquez joins us live with a one and only exclusive story right now. Oh, Christina, you're in it. <laughs> I am indeed. So you've heard of a bear cat, right? An armored police vehicle. Well, I'm joining you live from the city's first ever MedCat. So it's Fire Rescue's armored rescue truck. And it was actually inspired by the bear cat. You see, I just learned today that during Irma, they had to rescue somebody while they were facing uh, wind speeds above 35 miles per hour. So you're probably thinking, okay, well, what's the issue with that? Well, fire rescues always had high water trucks, but these fire engines, just like any big truck, when you're facing wind speeds above 35 miles per hour, it can be very um, unsafe, right, for the public safety folks because it can flip. So they reached out to the city of Miami Police Department, asked to borrow their Bearcat in order to rescue this person. And that's what inspired the MedCat. We have eight high water vehicles, but um, we did not have something that we were comfortable going beyond our our normal wind levels that we would go out in because our fire trucks are large vehicles, although they are heavy vehicles, they're, they are large. And as you've seen on TV in 60 mile per hour winds, a semi could turn over. So that was one of our concerns. There's a policy that says above a certain wind speed that we don't have the equipment. It's not that our manpower doesn't want to help, we just don't have the tools. We've always had high water but not high wind vehicles. And so we really wanted to start looking at what we could do to address that. It's essentially an armored vehicle that has the ability to sustain higher winds with higher water capability as well, but it's outfitted for medical. And we can use this not only in times of hurricanes, but we can also use it for active shooters and things, uh, things such as that. This is how we would get our paramedics into the hot zone safely. As we look in here, what are we looking at? Uh, basically, what you're looking at is the uh, protected patient compartment. It allows the rescuers to be back there. It allows the patients to be back there. And very similar to our rescue trucks, it allows us to put someone back there, provide treatment, but provide treatment in a protected area and get them out of the danger zone. So if we're talking about high water, you can see that the exhaust is probably seven feet high. The air intake in the front for the engine is about five or six feet high. It's, it's armored so that whether they are being uh, shot at or or they are a, a tree branch falls on them in high winds, they're going to be protected. And coming to you back live from the MedCat, it is called the MedCat, but Commissioner Russell actually has his own name for it. It is a she and he calls her Denise. It's actually named after a friend's mom in a different municipality who he says died of a medical condition during a storm because the first responders just couldn't get to her uh, because of the high winds. So for him, that personal experience helped him really understand the need for this. So you're probably wondering why I'm holding this. I thought it was interesting that they mentioned it's not just hurricanes, but other uses for this truck, like an active shooter situation, really heavy bulletproof vests in here so that if they need to get into a situation and there's any kind of active uh, fire that they're able to also be protected in that capacity. Um, so it's, it's interesting to hear. It's almost like the new normal of our lives that these are things that our fire rescue have to think about. But for now, reporting live for you from the brand new first of its kind MedCat, Christina Vasquez, Local 10 News. Christina.